From Pro Football Hall of Famers to one of the most beloved players in NHL history, the sports world lost too many great athletes in 2022. Rest in peace to Franco Harris, who died during the making of this video. Here's who fans had to say goodbye to in 2022. On April 9, 2022, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins died after getting hit by a dump truck in the early hours of the morning. According to the New York Times, Haskins was on his feet walking on the westbound side of Interstate 595 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when he was hit. While it was unclear at the time why Haskins would be walking around on the highway instead of driving, it was later revealed that his car had run out of gas and he was likely trying to make his way to the nearest gas station. He had initially called his wife when he ran out of gas, but when he did not call her back or answer his phone, she became worried and called 911. Though it was not known at the time, Haskins was intoxicated by both alcohol and illegal drugs when he was hit. Haskins was just 24 when he died, having been a prior first-round draft pick by Washington in 2019. The world lost former NFL player Junior Siavi just weeks into the new year on January 13, 2022. Siavi had previously played for the Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys, and Seattle Seahawks during his career from 2004 to 2010. At the time of his death, Siavi was in custody at Leavenworth Prison in Kansas. No cause of death was formally released. According to the Department of Justice, two and a half years prior, in August 2019, Siavi had been arrested on multiple illegal firearms charges. The federal firearms charges stemmed from several arrests related to Siavi being a user of illegal drugs in possession of guns and ammunition, a federal crime. According to the Justice Department, officers contacted Siavi after he was seen behind the wheel of a stolen Jeep. During the ensuing struggle, Siavi fought with multiple officers and had to be tased several times. This marked Siavi's third arrest for illegal guns and drugs, and he was found with a handgun and several controlled substances. Siavi's case was still awaiting trial at the time of his death. On October 13, 2022, longtime pitching ace Bruce Souter died in the company of his family in Cartersville, Georgia. Souter was 69 at the time and had recently been diagnosed with cancer. At the time of his death, Souter had been married to his wife for 50 years, and he is survived by her and his multiple kids and grandchildren. Souter had one of the most storied careers in baseball history, eventually earning himself a spot in the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2006. Powered by a devastating split-fingered fastball, Souter made six All-Star teams and won the 1979 Cy Young. Young Award, which is given to the best pitcher in the league. He also recorded the final six outs to close out the 1982 World Series to help St. Louis beat Milwaukee, throwing two perfect innings, meaning he didn't allow a single batter to reach base. Souter was one of the first closers elected to the Hall of Fame, and he ended his career with an incredible 300 saves. From now on, I will get introduced as Hall of Famer Bruce Souter. It still doesn't sound right, but it is sounding better. He played from 1976 to 1988 as a member of the Chicago Cubs, St. Louis Cardinals, and Atlanta Braves. WWE wrestler Sarah Lee died on October 5, 2022, at the age of just 30 years old, leaving behind a husband and three young children. Lee had previously won the sixth season of the reality TV show Tough Enough, which was produced by the WWE. Following her win, Lee wrestled with WWE for a year before wrestling independently. Her husband was pro wrestler Corey James Weston, and they were married in 2017. There was no immediate cause given for her death, and she had been active on social media in the days leading up to her passing. Bull James another wrestler organized a GoFundMe page to help her surviving family members pay for her funeral. The page has since surpassed more than $100,000 in funds through over 1,000 individual donations. A few weeks following her death, her husband posted a heartbreaking tribute to his Instagram page, which many fellow wrestlers warmly commented on. In the 1950s and 1960s, few people, if anyone, played the game of basketball better than Bill Russell. At the time when black Americans were not even granted their full civil rights, Russell helped lead the Boston Celtics to an unprecedented 11 NBA championships, including eight consecutive wins from 1959 to 1966. As a member of the Celtics, Russell was an all-star for 12 of his 13 seasons, and he also won the league MVP five times. He is considered by many to be the greatest basketball player in history, and was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1975. Before his NBA career, Russell was also a gold medalist at the 1956 Olympics, two-time NCAA champion, and an All-American at the University of San Francisco. In 1967, Russell took over coaching duties, winning two championships as a player coach in 1968 and 1969. Not only was Russell an incredibly dominant player in the NBA, but he was also a civil rights and social justice activist. A few young people here that would like to be the President of the United States. You can do anything that you want to do. 
In recognition of his contributions to America, Barack Obama awarded Russell the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011. Russell died on July 31, 2022, with no cause of death given. He was 88 years old. Russell was married four times during his life and had three children. He was known for being incredibly humble, and he was one of the most respected and beloved players of all time. During the summer of 2022, former Denver Broncos quarterback Marlon Briscoe died on June 27th at the age of 76. Briscoe was the first black quarterback to start a game in professional football history when he did so for the Denver Broncos in 1968. The Broncos were part of the American Football League at the time, and Briscoe was the starter for five games. Even though he played well as a rookie, Briscoe was forced to change positions to receiver due to intense racism against the idea of black quarterbacks in the league at the time. By some accounts, Briscoe was good enough as a quarterback to have eventually become one of the best of all time, but he was never given the chance. After leaving Denver in 1969, he would go on to win two Super Bowls as a wide receiver, including one as part of the undefeated 72 Miami Dolphins, the only undefeated team in NFL history. In 2016, Briscoe was elected to the College Football Hall of Fame, having played for Omaha University while in school, nicknamed the Magician. Marlon Briscoe reportedly died of pneumonia. On June 22, 2022, longtime Indianapolis Colt and Baltimore Ravens defensive tackle Tony Siragusa the Goose died. Siragusa played in the league for 12 seasons, winning the 2001 Super Bowl as a member of the Ravens. During his career, Siragusa was one of the most popular players, both on and off the field, and was incredibly philanthropic within the communities that he played for. He was one of the best players on one of the greatest defenses of all time, the 2000 Ravens, and was known for his ability to use his large frame to eat double teams up the middle. Siragusa endeared himself to fans with his down-to-earth persona and comical antics. He often played practical jokes, including his famous prank on Hall of Fame tight end Sharon Sharp on one of the earliest episodes of the NFL show Hard Knocks. The goose was 55 at the time of his death, the cause of which was not immediately given. One of the most tragic deaths of 2022 belonged to Baltimore Ravens outside linebacker Jalon Ferguson. He was just 26 years old at the time and was getting ready for the upcoming 2022 season starting in September. Ferguson was nicknamed Sack Daddy during his time at Louisiana Tech, and he had been a member of the Ravens since being drafted by them in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Ferguson had a prolific college football career at Louisiana Tech, including becoming the division's all-time sack leader. Ferguson died at his home in Baltimore, Maryland, having grown up in Ruston, Louisiana. Indiana. His cause of death was an accidental overdose of cocaine and fentanyl. Ferguson left behind three young children and a brother. Hall of Famer and former Montreal Canadian superstar Guy Lafleur died on April 22, 2022, from complications due to lung cancer. As the Associated Press reported, Lafleur had previously been diagnosed with lung cancer in 2019 while undergoing a separate operation on his heart. Reportedly, Lafleur was a lifelong smoker before his diagnosis. Lafleur was in the NHL for 17 seasons, from the early 1970s all the way to the early 1990s, playing his last few seasons while already a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame after coming back from retirement. During his legendary career, Lafleur won five Stanley Cups, including four consecutive seasons from 1976 to 1979. He played in more than 1,100 games, and he was one of the most prolific offensive players in NHL history, finishing with 560 goals and just over 700 assists. Not only does he still hold several Canadians' records, he managed the incredible feat of scoring 50 goals in a season for six straight seasons from 1974 to 1979, and he was a two-time regular season MVP. He was one of the most beloved players in Canadians' history, and there were many tributes to him from former NHL stars upon his death. Rayfield Big Cat Wright died at the age of 76 on April 7, 2022, after being hospitalized with seizures. Wright was inducted into the Football Hall of Fame in 2006 after playing 13 outstanding seasons with the Dallas Cowboys as an offensive tackle. Unfortunately, Wright's playing days would have a lasting effect on his mental health. He dealt with seizures, headaches, and dizziness following his retirement, and he was diagnosed with dementia in 2012, much of which he attributed to his playing days. Originally from Georgia, Wright managed to play in more than 100 80 games during his career, and he was a member of the NFL's 1970s All-Decade team. Former Dallas Cowboys running back Marion Barber III died on June 1, 2022, after suffering from heat stroke while at his Dallas area home. His death was ruled an accident, and it may have been related to his intense workout routine, as the thermostat was reportedly set at a scorching 91 degrees. Barber played in the NFL from 2005 to 2011, mainly for the Cowboys, but also with the Chicago Bears for his final season. During his career, Barber scored more than 50 touchdowns and rushed for just short of 5,000 yards. His best season was in 2007 when he was elected to the Pro Bowl. Do what you love. It's just that simple. 
Cowboys released a tribute to Barber on their Twitter account following his death. They called him an old-school, hard-nosed football player and expressed their condolences to his surviving family members. On March 10, 2022, former MLB starting pitcher Odalis Perez died after falling off a ladder at his home in the Dominican Republic. Perez was a left-handed pitcher who threw for the Atlanta Braves, Los Angeles Dodgers, Kansas City Royals, and Washington Nationals during his career. He pitched for more than 1,300 innings as a pro, recording 73 wins. Perez finished his career with the Nationals in 2008, making 30 starts and winning 7 games while losing 12. His best season was in 2002, when he was elected to the All-Star Game and had an earned run average 27% better than the league average. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.